in the previous video we saw how to download the anaconda navigator in this video we are going to see how to launch jupyter notebook uh, via anaconda navigator and also we will see how how to use jupyter notebook okay so here you um you can go to the search and type anaconda and uh, there you can see anaconda navigator click on it and it is going to open up the anaconda navigator prompt uh, it is going to take a little bit of time i'm going to fast forward in time so the prompt has been opened anaconda navigator is a software which comes with bundles of software so here we can see there is a jupyter notebook uh, ide and uh, it also comes with pycharm ide and spider ide vs code and many other different softwares okay so what i want you guys to do is just click on launch button and it will launch jupyter notebook inside a browser okay that is how jupyter notebook was built and it is going to take a little bit of time and here we can see the mozilla firefox has been fired up and this is how a typical jupyter notebook looks like and here in the file section you can see multiple files and in the running it will show uh, the terminals running and uh, notebooks running and in the clusters uh, it just uh, shows you like the uh, Jupyter notebook is running on uh, how many different ports okay you are not going to be using clusters as much as uh, files and running okay so here you can go to this new and click on python 3 notebook and it will create a new notebook for you okay so the Jupyter Notebook has created a new uh, notebook for me and uh, if you click on untitled here you can uh, give the name I'll give demo okay and click on rename and it is going to name the file as demo okay and in the files you can uh, also launch a new notebook or open the pre-saved notebook or, or make a copy save as rename and save checkpoint revert to checkpoint okay download as HTML latex markdown etc and in the edit you may cut the cell um, and copy or paste delete cells split cell okay merge above below we are going to be talking about this in a while and in the view you can toggle the head bar as well as toolbar and it is going to give you more space uh, i would like to have them uh, displayed uh, because here you can see there are uh, shortcut uh, uh, options as well and insert is going to insert a cell above or below and uh, if i press below it is going to insert below and if i press above it is going to insert above okay and in the kernel uh, if the um, prompt or a cell is running if you want to interrupt it you can uh, press on interrupt it is going to stop it and if you want to restart the whole kernel you can uh, just uh, press on restart and uh, if you want to uh, restart and clear the output you can press this okay the all these options are self explanatory you can uh, uh, use them by yourself and in the widgets you can uh, save the notebook widget state clear the notebook widget state download widget state etc okay and in the help you'll find all the helps you need okay so this is how a typical jupyter notebook looks like if you want to write a python code you can just uh, print hi and if you press shift plus enter it is going to execute it and it is going to display the output below the cell okay shift enter and if you uh, press shift enter it is going to create a new cells okay so uh, let me just cut these cells new cells and if i press shift enter now it is going to create a new cell for me if i press i'll remove this once again if i press control plus enter it is going to execute only that cell and it is not going to create a new cell for me okay so now this is in a running state if i click over here and now the color changes and if i press a it is going to insert a new cell above the uh, previous cell okay now again this cell is in command if i press uh, if i click here and uh, press again it is going to change to blue color and if i press b it is going to insert a new cell below the previous cell okay so you can also run this cell by clicking on run button and uh, if you want to cut this cell you can also uh, click here cut cell and it has been removed and if you want to save the file you can press on save and checkpoint okay and if you want to press this it will move the move your uh, prompt to above or below and if you press this it will move your prompt to below 
and if you just uh, press this it is going to interrupt your kernel and it if you press this one it is going to restart your kernel okay and here you can see restart and run the whole uh, notebook this command is used for that and if you want to put some headlines what you can do is you can just press over here and click on markdown and you can literally type whatever you want i will type demo and if i execute this and it is going to be marked down okay if you want that uh, these thing in bold then you, you just have to put hash and uh, again this should be in markdown and put hash and type whatever you want demo video okay and if you pre press the uh, shift plus enter it is going to mark this cell in a bold okay so these are the uh, output you are going to be getting if you press heading and uh, this is going to show you this is level 2 heading okay and uh, if you can literally type whatever you want and it is going to be in the heading okay so yeah after saving uh, you can you can press on uh, this saving button and you can log out if you press log out it is going to log out okay and that's how you launch jupyter notebook using anaconda navigator now i am going to show you how to launch jupyter notebook using command prompt okay go here and type cmd and open up your command prompt and type j u p y t e r jupyter notebook and hit enter notice this is not j u p i it is j u p y t e r notebook and hit enter and it is going to launch jupyter notebook and it is going to take little bit of time to fire up the browser and uh, keep the jupyter notebook running and here you can see we have again launched the jupyter notebook okay and uh, here once again if you press on new and if you press on python 3 it is going to create a new uh, notebook for you i mean yeah ipynb file for you okay and just print hello and shift x enter it is going to print out that okay so this is how you use uh, jupyter notebook i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this lecture and i will see you guys in the next one where we will start coding in jupyter notebook all right bye